Cartel TV. Today we are privileged to have one of our own within the health sector. We are commemorating Diabetes Day on 14th of November. So she will be giving us the nitty gritty of what it entails. So welcome viewers. You can introduce yourself to, to the audience. Audience, yeah, from the other side, Katel TV, to Paka, Paka America, and Afghanistan. So, the longer you go, you go to Kia. In Aida. Yes. Okay. Ah, from a general nature, Lillian and Nate, Boya, um, Katiwa, Kiambio. Ah, Kwanza na zasho kuzita na Katel TV, kunipata hiyo opportunity, na juu kwa Airi wa kwa kwa TV, si tu hivi. So. Thank you, thank you. Huh? Uh. So before to end up, uh, this is one of our own, mm -hmm. uh, one of the youth from uh, Kamfundi, Mr. V. Kiambio. Na, say you're the doctor, you're a nurse. <laughs> I'm a nurse. Uh, she's a nurse, uh, and uh, I think when we left the hospital, we were going to visit her at the station. We were going to visit her at the we will connect campaigns uh, 2022. Now, we will not reach that even though it is a focus for more quality. So, I need uh, to, to, to invite uh, because we will have a very big event coming up on 14th of November, yeah. the, which is the World Diabetes Day. Yes. So, we will have to do a good part of the intro to what we will what is it that sasa inakuwa hiyo da kutoka the world diabetes day diabetes ni kwa Kiswahili inaitwa ugonjwa wa sukari hiyo ugonjwa yenye sisi huwa tunajua mtaani watu wanajua ni ugonjwa wa matajiri eh so november 14 is the world diabetes day the whole world will be celebrating diabetes but as for me Mimi naipanga because the, uh, on 14th itakuwa on a Tuesday na watu wengi watakuwa naenda kazi watu wengi watakuwa na unaweza katizia mtu kazi asiende kazi ya tiju mnataka ku celebrate World Diabetes Day si ndio sasa uh, nimeamua tuifanye on 11 pale Kamkunji constituency place inaitwa Kiambio Chiefs Camp Isili South Ward so rafiki na nini nimekumotivate ndio because this is a very big it looks like an, an international event mm -hmm. and it's one of a kind ijai fanyika hata mashinani yeah. because eh, kiambio leo tunajua na by an extension kamkunji mm -hmm. tumekuwa na tuna hizi medical camps hizi mm -hmm. free medical kama ni ya macho ni ya macho na hizi na cholera polio cholera cholera yeah. polio so nini nimekumotivate na Part of your team, wale una mataka hii nini kwe actualized. Unapangaje who are your team for, for the event? Okay. Uh, wacha nianze. Can you many motivate mm. ku form hii, ku kuja, uh, ku form hii kitu inaitua diabetes support group. I'm planning to form a diabetes support group mm -hmm. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually planning to start it in Nairobi Kwanza. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a brilliant idea, huh? So, can you imagine me come up with this idea? Uh, our area MCO, as when you miss here, to look on a pandia siasa kidogo. Uh, so, kuna huyu kiongozi aliyekuwa bora zaidi mwenye alipata hii kiti alikuwa naitua Honorable Nicholas Okwacho Juma, mwenye ni MCA isili South Ward. Yes. Uh, alipo sikia, mimi kama kampena wake, mwajwa kampena wake, ama nas, Na bado kulikuwa na sinajua hii Kenya kupata kazi si raisi Hata sisi manasis kupata tu penye umejishikilia vizuri ya za nas It's not easy So huyu mwashimiwa uh, Nicholas Okwacho Juma Aliposikia nimefanya nothing na nimemaliza Na ndio huyu amepata kiti Alieza kunisaidia nikapata kazi pale mamalusi kibaki hospital Ni kwa hapo kagundo road uh -huh. e, Ni hospitali ya serikali Kubwa sana. County. Ni county. Mm, level ngapi? Ni level five. Level five, eh? Yeah. 
So, hapa ni nikokuwa niafanya kazi, ni notice kuwa magonjwa wengi wanaletwa pale kuna wagonjwa wengi sana wa diabetes. Na unapata hawa wagonjwa wenye tuo tunavyotu tunasema ati diabetes, hii ugonjwa sukari ni ugonjwa matajiri. Napata ni hawa watu wenye wenye wana wako kwa slums, hawa wenye wako kwa vitongo duni exactly. Mm -hmm. So unapata mtu ametoka Kayole, mtu ametoka huku umoja huko kiambio unaona yes. mtu ndiye amegonjeka hiyo ugonjwa wa sukari na kikuja pale unapata ni mtu ni patient ameshinda kijirudia na amekuja kwa pale hospitali ana manager vizuri anapona anarudi nyumbani but after few days tena kidistage kirudi nyumbani anarudi tena hospitali tena ina much worst state ta hapo ndo niliona kuna question mark na nikaona kumbe ni management back at home pale kwa community ndio kuna shida ndio kosa nikasema wacha ni form kitu inaitwa diabetes support group ndio tuwe tunaweza kufuatilia wagonjwa wa sukari kwa hata tukiwatilia kutoka hospitalini tume discharge vizuri huko mtaani pia tunawafuatilia tukua tumesha identify hao wagonjwa wa sukari tutakuwa tunawaweka tunafuatilia hata tunakuwa na meetings like once in a month ama twice in a month kuna unaongea na huu mgonjwa eh hey, sukari yako imekuwa ngaje umekuwa ukikula aje umekuwa ukisikia aje Ju, most of them are depressed most of them are penye mnajua uh, diabetes si ugonjwa ti unasikia ni ugonjwa wa matajiri so lazima chakula na Kenya sasa hivi unajua hizo vitongoji duni kupata hili share ya mara tatu kwa siku ni shida so unapata mtu ni ako na ugonjwa wa sukari hajakunywa chai asubuhi haja kula lunch na pia ata miss hapa niambia huo ugonjwa huo mgonjwa wa sukari atapona kweli sitakuwa worst management yake so ndo nilisema wacha tu form diabetes support group tuwe tunaweza kuwafuatilia nafikiri eh uh, um, just fall short of kusema mambo ya sensitization mm. but uh, first things first unajua mm. kwa hii dunia saa hii mm -hmm. ya kaisari wacha tumpe kaisari mm. so nikola support juma mc sisi sawa mm kuna sana kwa kufuatia our small sister opportunity ya ku advise kwa maisha those are some of the things that tulikuwa tumeweka hapo kwa kiti eh, so hapo tunakushukuru na ongezi sana because it's very rare because mara nyingi watu unasikia tu watu wanakuwa na kile mapoto kodogo bla 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 hii ni part of the empowerment so kiongozi hapo ni big up kwa ku empower msichana wetu na sasa yuko mama, mama Lucy so eh, anit eh, umesema unataka you are you want to create a support group ya hii da diabetes mm -hmm. na kwa wale labda wajui mm -hmm. ama wajai kwa wajai pale na ugonjwa ama labda wako nao na wajui mm -hmm. e, unaweza elezea audience symptoms za diabetes mm -hmm. alafu tena utuambie diabetes iko tax ngapi okay uh, uh, ugonjwa wa diabetes symptoms zake na ina inakuanga hivi mtu mwe mtu mwenye kuna ugonjwa wa diabetes utapata kama ukitaka kujua sukari yako haiko normal huu mtu huwa anasikia kiu sana na vile unakunywa maji sana mtu wa diabetes mm. akisikia anasikia kiu yenye anakushinda amekunywa maji more frequently mm. eh aya mtu wa diabetes utapata anaenda kukojoa anasikia kukojoa mara kwa mara mara kwa mara mara kwa mara hii inamaanisha sukari yako iko aya mguu mgonjwa wa diabetes utapata atakuwa na shida ya macho atakuwa analia haiziona vizuri kuna masana anaona anaona au ni vizuri haya huu mgonjwa wa diabetes atakuwa nasikia njaa sana huh? so zile hizi ndo zile main symptoms main symptoms yenye kama ukisikia uko nayo tafadhali you just do a follow up ukiona ume, ume, umeanza kupitia such symptoms unakojoa sana unasikia kiu sana unakunywa maji sana unasikia njaa sana na pia una shida ya kuona tafadhali enda kwa hospitali uonekane upime sukari ujue sukari yako iko waje kama ilikuwa anga normal na sasa my sister mm. uh, Easy diabetes kuna maswali nimeuliza hapo bado nitafuta yeah, si, ni, 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 types ngapi? Uh, diabetes kuna several types. Kuna diabetes type 1, kuna diabetes type 2, kuna gestational diabetes, na nyingine inaitwa pre-diabetes. So, kuna hii gestational diabetes unapata hii hii inashikanga wale wa mama wako na mimba. Hii ina ina unapata mama mwenye ako na mimba hiyo wakati yenye na mimba sukari yake huwa inakuwa tu 
na hii inamaanisha huu ni mtu mwenye asipoishi maisha yake vizuri vina ku asipochunga venye ana, ana lifestyle yake mm. yani vitu zenye anakula diet i mean weight unaona ni mtu in future atakuwa at risk kupata diabetes aya kuna hii inaitwa pre diabetes unapata mtu amekwanga tu sawa kidogo kidogo unasikia sukari yake amekuwa hivyo uh, amepata hizo symptoms akapeleka hospitali kupimwa anapatikana sukari yake iko juu but amekwanga hananga shida sukari hii ni hii inaitwa pre diabetes hii inamaanisha huo mtu hiyo intervention isipofanyika mapema uh, manejiwe na venye na hiyo amanejiwe sukari yake venye intake tutapata huo mtu in future atoka, atakuwa at risk ya kupata diabetes aya kuna hii diabetes type 1 kuna hii diabetes mellitus na diabetes insipidus hii diabetes mellitus ni yenye insulin insufficiency unapata kuna insulin kuna kitu inaitwa insulin mm-hmm. yenye hiyo siku ya diabetes mkitaka kujua mingi kuhusu diabetes hiyo siku tutakuwa hapo tutawaelezea kila kitu insulin ni ni yenye ni, 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 ni sukari nyeko kwa mwili yenye na regulate venye sukari inatoka kwa mwili pancreas. Sasa hiyo siku mkikuja kuna wenye tutakuwa hapo tutawaelezea muelewe zaidi kuhusu hii ugonjwa ya sukari. So uh, I still on you uh, and it mm-hmm. uh, because uh, uh, this is a big event that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Now that uh, ini mosema ni Nairobi chapter. Mm-hmm. Hii itakuwa kamkunji kiambiwa. Mm-hmm. Na since it's Nairobi chapter and Nairobi has got 17 constituencies 85 wards mm-hmm. have you reached out to the leadership of Nairobi county uh nili nime try but ni kuna since hapa mashinani kuna wale wakilishi wake kama Liz Waidera mm-hmm. anakuwa anga najua nikifikisha hii ujumbe yeye nilijaribu nimefikishia kwa Liz Waidera mwenye ni yeye ndiye anawakilisha sakaja hapa kamkunji. Protocol. Eh, yeah. yeah. si najua lazima tuwabiga pa watu. Wako na karambu. Kwa wamefanya tumejua sakaja anafanya kazi. Mm. Lizwaidera nilimweleza na ameniambia ah, atanipatia support kubwa, mm. atatafuta venye hiyo siku. Kwa hiyo event ya kwanza yeye amenisaidia. Mm. Eh, kuna event mingi tumefanya na eh na Liz. Na ninajua hata hii hata niangusha. Mhm. Mm. Aya kuna Niza waomba tufikie kina au wa politicians wetu wote. Sakaja asante sana ulipatia our CH quiz ma yeah, inaitwa community health promoters. Mm. Mliwapatia the kids. Wanaotembea na hospitali kwa mgongo. Hiyo hospitali kwa mgongo inamaanisha wako na hiyo mashini ya kupima sukari. Hiyo mashini wakiwa nayo hata nikiform hii group na kuna CHPs everywhere kupata kufuatilia hao wagonjwa wa sukari itakuwa ni rahisi kwangu hao wagonjwa aya pia naweza penda mama ta mama esta pasaris hiyo siku nimekukadhibisha tufanye kazi pamoja tujenge Kenya yetu aya babu wino wa MPs Yusuf Hassan kwanza MP wangu mwenye nimesema hiyo event juni na ni MP mwenye amekuwa MP wangu for the last 15 years Unaona mm. maanisha huo ni MP ndio hapa tu hizo hizo miaka zote huo mm. ni kime kiongozi mchapa kazi si ni kweli mm, eh, mtu ndio akai 15 years mm. si mchezo si ni kweli mm-hmm. so huyo pia ndio nimeamua niende ku, yeye akuje nitaorganize event ikuwe kwa constituency yake so nafikiri eh itakuwa kamkunji mm. eh ni sawa sasa na hawa wabunge 17 wa Nairobi. Mm. Kwa Nairobi ni kubwa. Mm. Na msema ni Nairobi chapter. Mm. So hiyo venue unaona kama ila itatoshia Nairobi yote? Hiyo venue ita kiambio ni kubwa. Mm. Kiambio ni kubwa sana. Ni kuna watu wengi. Mm-hmm. Itawatoshia wote. Mm. Itawatosha na wamekaribishwa kabisa. Kina babu wino, babu wino hapo Mbakasi anachapa kazi sana. Mm. Tumemkaribisha. Edwin Sifuna Tunamkaribisha senator wetu. Unto pray. Yeah. Mtu yangu ya nguvu. Tunamkaribisha pia yeye kwa event. Mm. Tukuje hiyo siku tushikilie hao wagonjwa wetu wa sukari mkono. Joa watu mm. wasisahau, wasione tu ni watu wa polio, watoto wa polio ndio wanapatiwa polio, watu wa cholera. Wajua pia wao wa, pia wanafikiriwa na serikali ya Kenya. Mm. Kenya tuko pamoja nao. Juo hao wagonjwa hata sometimes haikuwa ngi ati ni ugonjwa sana, mm. ni depression, mm. ni stigma. 
mtu unapata mtu anajua ameenda hospitali akapatikana kwa na hii ugonjwa wa sukari mtu animejificha kwa nyumba na ugonjwa jana hii ni ugonjwa kubwa unaona mm. hii si ugonjwa kubwa hii ugonjwa inapatikana kwa mtu yoyote ine nini mwenye atakwa at risk kupata hii ugonjwa ni mtu mwenye ako overweight kwa hivyo tuangalie venye tunakula na venye weight yetu tufanye exercise si ni kweli aya diet diet yako angalie usikule sukari mingi vitu hizi junk zenye ziko na sukari mingi kindly wacha tu avoid ndio tuishi vizuri aya hii ugonjwa pia unapata ulizaliwa nayo iko kwa familia yetu ilimlibarikiwa nayo huko unaona sasa atuwezi ifukuza imeshatupata tuko nao ni sasa tujaribu tujue venye tutaishi nayo tuishi in a friendly way yenye itumalize venye imekuwa ikitumaliza it's so sad hapa kama kwetu hapa kampunji in the last three months tumepoteza more than 10 people diabetes. You are diabetes tumepoteza more than 10 people hiyo yeah, so alarming si ni kweli niambia by the time tutafika december tutakuwa tumebakisha watu wangapi na sasa my sister mm-hmm. Eh, kuna hii notion hmm. that diabetes huwa eh, inaletwa na sukari is it true ni kweli eh yeah. yeah. sasa wengine wengine wetu kama sisi tuko tumeletwa tuko lamba sukari hmm. kuna uwezekano tuweza kuwa tuna diabetes diabetes na tujui ndio kwa eh is there possibility mtu mtu anaweza kuwa na diabetes na ajui eh si ndio kama nimesema kuna ile inaitwa pre diabetes ah. unapata all of a sudden sukari yako imeenda more than the normal mm. the normal range ya sukari inakuwa anga kuna 3.5 to 7.5 ama 4 to 8 so ukienda mm. upimu upate uko below mm. iko below 3.5 ama below 4 mm. jua sukari yako iko kidogo kwa mwili you can have diabetes hiyo hiyo sasa hiyo pia mm. inakuwa anga diabetes hiyo inaitwa mm. hypoglycemia Mm. Yes, hiyo hiyo event hiyo usikose kwa hiyo event. Hiyo event tutakufundisha mingi. Ah, katika TV tutakwenda tutakuwa hapo tunaleta live. Unaona hizi times za madaktari ni vizuri kuna hiyo hypoglycemia, hypoglycemia. Yeah. Hiyo yote nitawafundisha mm. mtajua, mtajua hizi hizi ni hizi times za manisha nini. Ndio tukienda hospitali, mm. usikie eh nime ame, eh, nimeambiwa niko na diabetes na nimeambiwa niko na DKA. Au utashtuko uta kwa na nini? Utajua ni nini uko nayo? na kwa nini imekupata sasa unaona hii hii diabetes complications zake ni mingi yenye tusipo tutapoteza watu wetu venye umesikia mtu akiwa is moja hizo symptoms ni mtu anashindwa kuona kumaanisha mm. diabetes inaweza fanya mtu akue kikuu na uh, sasa going forward mm-hmm. uh, before the event mm-hmm. uh, tumekuwa na changamoto sana kwa mashinani mm-hmm. na samo kwa people mashinani sana sana kama uh, section 3 mm-hmm kuna mzee mmoja sana anaitwa Simba. Hiyo hii sukari kuna wakati inampeleka mbio sana. Mhm. Muko na mikakati gani after hii event ya ya, ya 11th? Mm-hmm. What is your follow up kwa hawa ah, labda wale tutapatikana labda kuna serious diabetic 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 issues? Mhm. Mtakuwa mna manager aje ama mtakuwa mtakuwa mna ambao mnapanda aje. Sasa mimi ah uh, kenye tuna plan ni tukisha identify these people living with the diabetes. Yes tunaweka ina group. Mm-hmm. Hii group tutakuwa tuna follow up like every month tujue how watu is career yao inakuwa ngaje. Mtu hadi tuna make sure at least wako na hii mashini ya kupima sukari. Medication. Yeah, medication uh, unajua kwa na hii kuna unajua kuna wenye lazima au ugonjwa sukari lazima kuna ile medication ni kama tu ugonjwa wa pressure. Kuna ile su, wako na hizo dawa na meza kila siku. So tuta make sure hizi medications is available kwa in case of anything referral tutafanya good referral to the un, uh, hospital nzuri kama mama Lucy nimekaa hapo mama Lucy for more than 3 months now na kenye nimeona pale venye wanatibu wagonjwa wa diabetes big up sana mama Lucy inafanya kazi inafanya kazi inasaidia watu wa diabetes Ina, kwa wako na madaktari unasikia mm-hmm. wale wa daktari wachana na wale sasa wa Cuba hao sasa hao wa daktari wetu wa Kenya on top wako on top sana wanafanya kazi nzuri sana wagonjwa wa diabetes wanakuja wakiwa wamepata hii complication yote mtu anatoka akiwa anatembea na Kwa sasa eh, eh, anit hmm. kama one of the organizers wa hii world diabetes day ile tafanyika kiambi grounds uh, on 11 na mskose kukuja Mm-hmm. Tulikuwa na Saturday na itakuwa inakuwa ina beam inakuwa beam to live na Katel TV moja kwa moja. Mm-hmm. Eh since this is a very big event na nimesikia kitaja political leaders. Mm-hmm. Are there any corporate bodies ama entities that are supporting this initiative? Yes. 
so far wale wamejitokeza eh kuna wale wamejitokeza uh, kuna maemoz from mama lucy kibaki hospital mm. anaitwa nur dr nur dr nur tulimekana yeye alinisaidia kwa hii event to organize this event aya kuna my my fellow nurses from coptic hospital na wengine wanatoka huko mama lucy mm. pia tutakuwa nao hapo mm. aya tuko na our ceo our very own ceo from iki jiji yetu anaitwa Felix Mboya. Mm. Felix Mboya atakuwa pale na sisi to ensure that hao watu after consultation na kila kitu kila mtu atakuwa kwa sawa. Na sasa hii tukisema hiyo hiyo tuko na Coptic Hospital na pia tuko na Mama Lucy. So na uh, what is the role of the uh, Nairobi County on that day? Nairobi County kuna shughuli watapiga shughuli ama Nairobi County tu uh, kuna shughuli watapiga. Nairobi County mm. Nimeongea na the CHP's mm. representatives uh, anaitwa Barbara. Okay. Barbara ni cha mm. wa Kamkunji. Mm. Amenipatia ame support kubwa, ameniambia that atanipatia hapo support. Tutakuwa na yeye hapo. Atakuwa uh, hapo na the CHP's wake na pia hao sasa viongozi they have to be there to make this event to be successful. So whoever is watching this uh, clip of video on Katel TV network we are appealing for support on that material day of uh, World AIDS Day that it happened on 14th lakini due to eh, a World Diabetes Day it happened on 14th November but it was an event before the international day of uh, diabetes yeah. so uh, the event it was organized by our sister NEET will be on 11th of November yeah. Starting from what time? Uh, starting from 8. Starting 8 from... 8 a.m. Uh, up to 4. Because hapo tutakuwa na walk, we will be walking, creating awareness what diabetes, kwa nini hii ni diabetes day, so that the people can come to the event. Kutakuwa na skit on how to live with diabetes. Kutakuwa na skit kutoka team in etwa Bashoro Talents. They are very talented youths there. They will empower their fellow the community yes. yeah we are inviting everyone from nairobi county wakuje na viongozi bila ni support yenu sitaweza hii kitu haiwezi kuwa hivi successful mkono kupu ni kweli so we have a certain budget kuna lazima kukuwe na tents lazima kukuwe na this hizi ma glucometer na glucose sticks hizo vitu za kupima pressure na kupima diabetes na VIPs kama na VIPs lazima kama sisi soda yetu eh yeah, kuna na lazima maji. kukuwe na soda mm-hmm. Na some reimbursement for these people when you are takuja they will make this meaning they successful kindly um i'm uh, asking for your support in any way lazima to make this day a successful diabetes iko na sisi na tujue venye tutaishi na na hawa watu wenye wana wanashikwa na diabetes watu wengine ni wa Kenya wenzetu tafadhali sisi kama wa Kenya tuamue tufanye kazi pamoja so Kamukunji since we are going to host this big event, an international event. Yeah. So MP Honorable Yusuf Hassan Abdi Msomi ikileo mchana mkono on that material day na ndio support kubwa. Our very own Nicholas Okojo Juma janya no ja ground. Mtu ya mezo mezo na juu ta control. Super MCA. Super MCA. Wa MC, ma MCA zote wa Kamukunji tukianzia na California 1 Ashim Kamau leta nguvu yako hapo Pumwani 1001 Petit weka support Fuad Hussein macho ya ODM hapo Airbase leta support Dabar Kado kijana cha mchapakazi chipukizi usikose shughuli hiyo siku So nafikiri on that particular day and the Nairobi at large tukianza na senator 001 Nairobi Kanairo Edwin Sifuna support yako tunahitaji Mae Esther Pasaris Mama Ta tunahitaji mchana mwenza kwa hapa uona unajua mambo ya sukari na mambo ya wamama hapo mm. tuna tuna, tuna, tuna expect you nguvu yako hapo kabisa eh mbwenze ni mbili sakajare sakajare eh yeah. hii sasa ni mambo yako ya mama Lucy na sikia ndio pato ya issue ndio main organizers wa issue huli so to, apart from ku expect your support tunataka kukuona ukuje personally ya pia mtaani usali ugote wako kanairo inakupenda kiambia inakupenda kamkoni after your elections na katels wote wa Nairobi wakiongeza wakiongeza na US truly pia msikose event because mnaweza kuwa mnapiga shughuli na mko na askari na sasa wale viongozi wengine walikuwa 
wanataka kuwa viongozi wa kamkunyu this is also a day that tunataka kuona mkono wenu umefika kwa shughuli ukianza na Muhammad Abdi tunataka your support Ada na Abdulrahman tunataka your support Sultan Mustafa Osman tunataka your support eh Musin Hussein hapo is really not wale wako pita support yako China Muhammad Ismailia weka support Robo Robo Hassan Mwalimu support yako tunahitaji hii ni event imeletwa msichana wetu na ni nas akitoka hapa tena kuwa daktari so tunaona sasa eh, ndio tumjenge first of all our presence itakuwa very much appreciated na support kidogo zisiyo msia sina mambo ya pesa kuna hata hivi ndio kama hizi maglucos wakileta ile ile ndio glucose glucose stick na glucometer glucometer na glucose stick hizo gloves na hizo 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 utafanya tens mulete viti opondo kopondo bada bing mti ya gormaia mali huko tens zitusumbue na viti hiyo kazi tumekuachia tukienda mbele so nafikiri anit before we wind up hii mambo ya the big event that is coming up because we also will do another interview also because that will result vizuri so on this day wale watu wanakuja what should they what should they expect mtu kama mimi mbona sasa niko ignorant na sijui chochote what should they expect because naweza ingia pale naweza kutoa maswali na daktari nimpige kofi what should they expect you will expect utapimwa sukari sukari ni utaambiwa utaelezewa kama sukari yako iko normal ama iko abnormal utapimwa weight eh utaambiwa kama uko obese uko overweight ama uko underweight Uh-huh. utapimwa pressure, pressure. utambiwa kama pressure yako iko normal ama iko abnormal yes. utapatiwa nutritional advice uh-huh. on how to live healthy without diabetes na wale wenye watapatikana wako na diabetes mtaelezewa mtu wa diabetes anafaa kukula nini anafaa kuishi aje anafaa kuvaa aje ndio msisahau mtu wa diabetes afai kuvaa tu kiatu hivi hivi na uh-huh. mkitaka kujua mingi msimisi event mtakuelezea kiatu ya diabetes lakini na wewe kama nasa unaweza ni brief in advance because it is tangi ni kuja kwa shughuli mm. ile na ina, ina, ina conflict na my appetite i hope nyama mjaweka kwa watu wasikule nyama because mimi napenda nyama sana sana ah, akuta kosa refreshments ah no mm. tunasema sasa zile vitu zinafaa mtu asi hizo uh, chakula mtu anafaa avoid mm. ya sipate diabetes yeah. na, na feel nyama iko kwa hiyo menu haya mm. kuna nyama iko avoid ni unafaa ku avoid Yeye ukitaka sitaki mm. kukumalizia vitu hapa kwa interview. Nikikwambia zote utamiss the event. Eh na miss event. Sio kweli? Eh sawa so, wewe kutokea kwa event tukwambie yeah. ni nyama gani unafaa kukula mm. na nyama gani ufai kuku. Tunajua sisi nyama zote zinakulwa. Eh. Yeah. So nafikiri this has been uh, an it. Uh, uh, I'm a nurse from uh, Mama Lucy Kibaki. Mama Lucy hospital. Kibaki level 5 county hospital. Yeah. Uh, she is planning a very big event on 11th of November mm-hmm. starting from 8 am to 4 at Kambio uh, Chiefs Camp our social hall in Kamukunji is in south section 3 Kambio ni division ama ni gani unajua hizo tutapangaza za kwa ndio Kambio ni Kambio ukifika hapo unajua ni Kambio social hall hapo kwa chief that's where tutakuwa na hiyo international event na kumbuka this event will be being live on Katel TV because there are some of our viewers wale well, wamenipigia simu saa hii yeah. wangetaka wakuwe hapo lakini watakuwa na nafasi wako America wengine wako UK Germany na France so they will be tuning in yeah. na wale wanajua wanajua kifaransa kidogo sikio pia kama una una, una oji wanaongea kifaransa kidogo because <laughs> apart from going live kutakuwa pia na interviews kwa people living with diabetes na wale wanaofia diabetes so it will be a big day they did a, a big international event so in a nutshell uh, i need Uh, wind up the show kia party of my integrities uh, before the big event uh, Kenya naweza sema ni asante sana Katel TV for hosting me it's a privilege to share my idea njoo nikishare hii idea ya diabetes na itafikia kila mtu itafikia tu watu wa Nairobi pekee tutatembea tutatembea Nyanza tutatembea Western tutatembea Central tumeamua kutembea hii diabetes tutaiangamiza Kenya mzima but This time round tumeamua tuanze wapi? Hapa hapa kwa Sakajare. Sawa, Sakajare usikose. Tunaanzia hapo tukaanza kuangamiza diabetes hapa kwako Nairobi. 
Thank you, Asante Sana. The, this has been Anit uh, from uh, Mama Lucy, Level 5, County Hospital. She's an nurse there. She, they, she and her team are organizing a very big event on 11th of November, Kiambio uh, Kamukuji Constituency, starting from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So, welcome. Keep watching Katel TV Network. Like, watch, subscribe, and share our clip. Thank you.